When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. And look, your flesh may not really care about getting smarter and getting intelligence and wanting to do things. I get it. It's a labor. It's a work. It's, it, 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 it's not as fun as, you know, just reading a book or going on a bike ride or going and, you know, doing some, playing some other fun. I get it. But you're going to have to, if, if you can see the value, if you can hear people who have wisdom, whether they be alive and in your life right now or like from the word of God, and you're willing to put your trust in that and say, you know what? I'm young. If you could have enough maturity, young people, to say, I know I'm young. I'm going to recognize that. And I'm going to recognize that there are people who are way older that have a lot of experience, and especially something as old as the Bible and coming from the Word of God, to say, I'm going to trust this. I'm actually going to test this out. And you're going to have to be committed to it. And I'm going to try to change my heart to allow wisdom to enter into my heart and that that knowledge is going to be pleasant to my soul. And I'm going to want to learn. And, and I'll tell you what, it may take time. It's going to take quite a bit of time. It's not an overnight thing. But just like anything that's good and worth doing, it has to, you just have to be consistent. You're going to have to fight your flesh and gain these desires. But I'll tell you what, with enough time, you will be thankful for the knowledge that you receive. And I'll tell you this much, the knowledge that I've gained through the word of God because I still have a secular job. I still work out in this world. I have gained so much insight into how people work and into how things work and how the world works. How the world works through the word of God. Through the word of God, through the Bible, through all the stories, through all the things. Because people are still the same. And people ultimately behave the same and people have the same characters. And, and, and you start to learn these things. And I'll tell you what, it really helps. It helps in the difficult situations to be able to recognize and spot the patterns and be like, oh, wow, I know where this is going. And to help keep yourself out of bad situations or to be able to provide good counsel in bad situations and be like, no, you know what, this guy, this isn't really good here. I mean, being able to, to, to spot the signs of a, of a psychopath was pretty helpful for me. It didn't take that long. At first, I, you know, there was someone I worked with, and I was just like, this is really weird. Yeah, at first, I didn't see anything, and then it was like, you know, a guy was kind of charming and, and ended up deceiving a lot of people, but then I was just like, whoa, this isn't, this isn't right, and then I pegged it. And look, th these things help you. They help me. They help me, and then the, how I deal with people, and how I dealt with him specifically in, in, in a manner of different ways. But I'm telling you... It, <laughs> the impact is going to be throughout your whole life. Like, like it really, the, the wisdom really does help you moving forward. But you have to learn. <laughs> we don't live in a matrix where you can, you know, plug in and download all this knowledge into your brain and then it's just there, right? You can't go to bed with the Bible on your pillow and, and be like, okay, let me, wait, let me put it on this side so it sinks down into my brain. Uh, it doesn't work. You have to read. You have to, you have to study. You have to, you have to devote time to it. And especially when we're talking about children, parents, you've got to invest the time in teaching them these things. And, hey, life is hard. There's a lot of, there's a lot of time that you don't have, especially when you're raising children. Because dad's probably going to be working even more. There's a lot more things done at the house. There's so many other distractions. But wait a minute. Don't forget your priorities. Don't forget your priorities. What matters more, you know, having the floor swept or having your children with an education? What matters more? Now, hey, I say let's get it all done. <laughs> let's, let's do it all. But when push comes to shove, you, you still have to make the priority and make the decision and make sure that you're not just losing all the time of being able to teach your children.